Hi YouTube, it's me, Goddess Lily. Well, I have a lace front closure to show you today. It's um, a three by three inch, and it's made with the Arjuni Cambodian hair. Yeah. Okay, so this is what this is what it looks like. Let me get up close. The hair, I believe, is. I want to say, t am I in the camera? I can't see. I want to say it's 12 inches. This is um, what it looks like. So, this is how it came out. This is the front, and I'll get up close so you can see um, the hairline. This is the inside. I personally think that it came out really, really beautifully. Let me uh, comb through it. It's basically, um, I see a shadow, so I'm not sure if the shadow's in the video or not. Um, basically, gonna, it's free parting. It's not a... Um, There's really no center part. It's basically just um, you can have, you know, a side part if you can manage to get a side there. Um, so I did. She wanted a little bit of baby hair, and actually, it is some baby hair, but I just did not cut it. So. Finish showing you it, and then I will tell you some of the things, challenges that I had um, ventilating with the hair. Now I'll let you be the judge. You tell me. Do you think that this hair has lost its luster or its texture in any kind of way? It's the inside. I don't know. I have to give you something to compare it to. So let's compare it to the actual hair that she sent me. This is the hair that she sent me to ventilate. It's beautiful, thick, and gorgeous. So look at it really closely. So, side by side comparison. The curl, yes, the curl has relaxed a little bit. And it relaxed because I had to manipulate the hair in order to ventilate it. So, what happened? I was halfway through the ventilating process. Actually, had ventilated the whole back half. And it was very, very, very puffy. I think um, one of the ventilators had used her Jenny hair and made a closure and she described what she was experiencing was a really, really thick puffiness when she wore the hair that it bunched up. So as I was ventilating, I just experienced a, such a huge thickness that the hair was basically standing up from the net sort of like this. And that's because of the natural curl pattern of the hair. So. I had a choice to make because I couldn't finish ventilating the closure like that either. Um, I had to call the client and let her know what I was exper experiencing and we had to come up with an alternative. So basically, this hair in its natural state like this is really hard to ventilate because of the natural curl. This curl, this big S curl at the top, and then this deep S curl, the second S curl. So you have two S curls in a two inch um, parameter. And so we have to bend the hair basically an inch and a half to ventilate. So that gives a curl thickness here and a, on the overhang and a curl thickness here at the top. So that's what creates, you know, that stand up, that bunchness. So what I suggested to my client 
that I relax the hair. I relax one inch of the curl at the top so I can ventilate it so it can lay down. And this is how it came out. Instead of that huge, huge puffiness, two inches thick, we basically only now have one inch puffiness due to that one you know curl pattern and then the inside the loop over is straight because I actually permed it so I used a mild cream relaxer that I already had oops I'm gonna hold them side by side you tell me which one you think is permed Now keep in mind that I permed it an inch from the top. So this one in my right hand has been permed because you can tell the curl pattern has loosened out. So what I do know about any type of virgin hair that the curl pattern of the hair is usually determined from that first curl from the root. So if I alter that first curl from the root of the hair, from the root of the follicle of the hair, it's going to alter the rest of the curl pattern. So, by me perming the top of the hair, this one inch curl straight, it loosened up the curl pattern of the hair. There's still a curl pattern, but it's just not as loose, I mean, I'm sorry, it's just not as tight as the original curl pattern. So I had to do this experiment for us to see if we could go ahead and finish ventilating the closure. She really wanted a closure to um, match the rest of her hair, and I don't blame her. So what I told her, I said, well, you know what, since this perming is really an experiment, I'm not sure how it's going to come out. I'm not sure if the hair is going to lose its luster, you know, or if it's going to mat up. I wasn't sure because I've never, not experienced with this Cambodian hair. I know Indian hair, I do everything to my Indian hair. Of course, this is not Indian hair I have on, but all my Indian hair videos, all my videos is usually I'm wearing my Indian hair wig, and I totally, totally chemalize my wig. Indian hair can take, um, relaxers and all kind of stuff, peroxide. I dye mine, so of course I'm altering it from its virgin state by putting the peroxide on it, which is I'm lightening, lifting the color out with peroxide. So this hair, I did take it out of its natural virgin state because I used a cream relaxer. Although I did not relax the whole length of the hair, I only relaxed the first half inch there it did not damage, you know, the luster or the shaft of the hair. So you can create a nice um, unit with your Cambodian or Juni hair only if you relax the top. Now this is um, my experiment with relaxing it. This is the relaxed hair because now it's a little bit longer on my right. If I had a relaxed the two inches instead of an inch and took the second curl pattern out, I believe that the hair might have went straight, totally straight. I don't know. I don't have, you know, I have to send her hair back to her. I don't have enough hair to experiment, but I wanted to nail this for my own self because I love the hair. I love the reviews. And I wanted to relax it to see how it was going to turn out. And so I talked to my client. She was a little skeptical. So I told her, you know what? You've already sent me a 50% deposit. The balance is on me. Let me go ahead and relax this so I can see how it's going to turn out. And um, <clears throat> so I can know if I can order hair for me because I make myself a full lace front unit. And I would be totally pissed. If I made my unit, if I got the expensive hair, I think $400 is what you pay for the hair, and I couldn't ventilate with it. So I wanted to do this experiment. So basically, she's getting her unit for half price. I sent her pictures. She's been along the whole process with me. She loves it. So I'm sending it to her, and she'll get the rest of her hair. But <laughs> I'm going to keep these little two pieces because I want to take 
this unpermed part, and I want to perm two inches to see if the whole curl pattern is totally going to drop, if I'm going to lose the whole curl pattern. Because I think if I perm two inches, it will totally lay flat at the top. I won't even have this little hump there. Seems like every time I come outside to make a video, the blimp goes overhead. That's the big airship blimp. I don't know, the airfield is kind of like a mile away, but we're in the pattern that it has to go over to get to its airfield. And it never fails. Okay, so I'm going to keep these two little pieces for me to experiment. And I'll send you the rest of your hair back. And by the way, I did weigh this, and this is 1.1 ounces. The hair is thick in volume, so I didn't have to use a lot of hair. And 1.1, uh, and it's very, very thick. Look at that. You can't, you know, you can't even see the net through here, Harley, basically, because it's so thick. So anyway... I actually sewed an elastic so when you if you're wearing this and you go to sew it down or glue it down you sew it down make sure you sew a row of hair you know over this to cover it so the hair basically you can sew the hair all the way almost up to the um, the hairline of you know the ventilating or somewhere in between just kind of sew the hair down over it to hold it in place. So once again, this is your Arjuna unit. I don't know, did I get up close so you can see the hairline? Let's see. Get a close up of that hairline up there. It's sealed really, really good. It has a little glare, but as you wash it and condition it, the glare go the, go away. I had to seal it super tight so that it will not shed. And speaking of shedding, um, <coughs> I got this in the mail to repair. This is the hair that she sent me to repair her $200 Indian lace front unit. Basically, the hair has just thinned out, you know, all in the center. So, I'm going to add, you know, hair and it's totally thinned out across the whole hairline. Let me see if I can show you how all the hair just fell out <laughs> across the top of that. This is, it's all the way to the edge over here. But I mean, it just really thinned out. And that's because they make these units, they don't seal them. And they can't seal them because they basically, you know, this is homemade. So they basically are gonna send it to you with all this sealer on the back. They expect for you to seal it and do what you want to it. I want to show you something. She spent $200 on this unit and look how it came with a big gap in, in here. You know, and it's not like the hair is missing because they, they hand sewed. Let me see. Yeah, it's like hand sewed here. It's like a fold and they hand sewed it and I don't know what's going on with it, but look how crooked it is. So this is what she got from IndianHair.com. <laughs> so if you order her a lace front from IndianHair.com, this is what it's going to look like. I think it's 12 inches, and she paid $200 for it. So we'll just say, you know, <clears throat> she didn't get her money's worth. But anyway, I was going to repair it for her and. I'm gonna fix that little hook thing over here and I'm gonna actually put the foundation because they saw they didn't put anything on it and it's raveling and so I'm gonna, you know, work on that. It's my next project. But anyway, this is all about the Cambodian and June or Juni. So I wanted you to know that yes, you can get your lace front units made. The only way it can be made basically and wearable is if you actually perm, you know, relax the curl at the top. And it, the curl will loosen up, but basically wet, it was still pretty. And it just needs a little conditioning on it. I have coconut oil in it, 
and I'm gonna send you a little vial of coconut oil just to keep in it because um, you know and just as you wash it just massage coconut oil at the top of it and that will you know bring bring it back to life but there it is hope you like it okay YouTube thank you for watching